and now all the ir sensor uh, leds are turned on now when i uh, place an object uh, near the sensor the light will turn off this is ir sensor 5 see the light is turned off again on the ir sensor 4 off on next this side this is ir sensor 1 1 is on off now ir sensor 2 2 is off this is middle one is ir sensor 3 3 is off this one is 3 this one is 3 this one is 2 this one is 1 so in this way uh, uh, how it is detecting because on the board on this side on the front side you have ir sensor ir led and uh, 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 ir led and ir photodiode so these two will help us to determine the object in this way uh, in, uh, in the left side right side and in the center on the front so it will detect the object in this experiment we are interfacing ir array with the arduino you know board uh, this is the image of ir sen uh, sensor top view uh, here, here you can see the ir sensor uh, uh, module uh, ir sensor 1 ir sensor 2 ir sensor 3 uh, ir sensor 4 ir sensor 5 and the last one is ir sensor 6 this is the top view on the bottom side you can check here mm, here it is written ir1 here it is written ir2 here it is written ir3 here ir4 here it is ir5 and the last one is ir6 so it has got uh, pins vcc pin ground pin and uh, S1, S2, S3, NEI pin, S4, S4 pin and S5 pin. So here it is written IR array. So how to do the connection? Uh, so you with Arduino you know board, connect 5 volts of VCC of IR sensor with uh, 5 volts pin of uh, uh, module uh, or Arduino you know board and ground pin of IR array with ground pin of Arduino you know board. S12 pin number 2 because we have we are using pin number 2 in the programming. S12 pin number 2, S22 pin number 3, S32 pin number 4 and uh, here S52, S, uh, S42 pin number 5. Actually I have connected uh, in the practical experiment S42 pin number 5 and uh, S52 pin number 6. Any pin you can use but accordingly you should write it in your program. So this is about uh, the connection diagram. Here I have neatly written. Uh, so uh, pin number two, uh, two S1 pin, uh, uh, sensor zero, sensor one, sensor two, sensor three, sensor four, and sensor five. So this also you can refer it. So what is this IR sensor uh, module? What is this IR sensor array? Uh, this uh, this IR sensor array, array is commonly used in robotics uh, for the line following. So by placing an array uh, IR array under the robot, uh, it can follow a line on the ground by detecting the contrast between the line and the surface. And it is also used uh, in robotics and uh, autonomous vehicles to detect the obstacles in their path uh, by scanning the uh, surroundings for infrared re reflection this system can navigate and avoid the collisions and ir sensor uh, this array it can serve as a proximity sensor it detects the presence or absence, uh, absence of objects uh, within certain range so here also you can use it and IR array can be employed in applications where counting the number of objects whenever they are passing through certain area. So there also we can use this IR sensor module. And uh, in object counting also we can use like IR, and IR array can be employed in applications where counting the number of objects passing through the uh, certain area. Uh, for example, in automated manufacturing, they can be used for counting the products on a conveyor belt. So what is there in this IR sensor? IR sensor work by emitting infrared light and then detects the reflection. So these sensors 
typically have IR transmitter. IR transmitter is nothing but LED. And IR receiver. IR receiver is nothing but photodiode. So when there is an obstacle in front of the sun sensor, the infrared light emitted by the sensor reflects back uh, from the ob obstacle and it is detected by the receiver. In this way, we can use this IR sensor module for many applications. Now I'll explain the code. So since it has got uh, six sensors, you uh, mention num number of sensors to a uh, one variable, num sensors, number of sensor equal to six. And your sensor pins, uh, you connect it to the Arduino you know, board, um, to pin, uh, pin number two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So in serial monitor, we want to see the result. Uh, so baud rate you give 9,600. And it starts from sensor zero to uh, sensor uh, six. Um, so um, um, all the um, pins, you make it as input port. Then again, in the for loop, from zero to uh, six, uh, we, we are going to read the sensor values. Digital read sensor pin. When I is zero, sensor pin number, uh, sensor pin zero. When I is one, sensor pin one. So in that way, we read the sensor value. Then we will print that sensor value. So if the sensor value is high, then we display the message as object detected by the sensor. Um, and for every uh, sensor, we are giving giving 5000 milliseconds of time delay. Now, uh, after writing this program, you select the board. The board selected is Arduino Uno board. Under Arduino AVR board, select the Arduino Uno board and select the port COM3 uh, because it is connected to COM3 port. Next, you upload the program. Now uploading is done. So now all the in the serial monitor, you can check all the sensor values are giving zero. Now when I place my finger on any one of the sensor, it will give the message as object detected by sensor code. Again, I'll keep my finger on another uh, sensor. So when I place my sensor on a uh, finger on another sensor, the object is detected by sensor zero. So when I place my finger on another sensor, it is uh, object is detected by sensor one. In this way, uh, you can uh, check the result in serial monitor also. This is IR sensor array module. Uh, it has got uh, six sensors, IR sensors. IR sensor one, two, three, four, five, and the last one is six. So you can check on the bottom side. It is written here, IR1, this side, IR2. Here it is written IR3. Here it is written IR4. And the last one, it is IR5. And the uh, fr on front side, IR6. And the pins uh, provided for this IR uh, module are BCC, ground, S1, S2, S3, NEI, S4, S5. So S1 uh, BCC should be connected to VCC pin of Arduino Uno board. This is VCC. And ground of IR module. IR sensor module, IR array sensor, it is connected to ground and the next pin is S1, S1 should be connected to pin number 2 because in program I have taken a pin number 2 for S1, next is yellow color is S2, S2 is connected to 
pin number 3 then green one this is next it should be connected to S4 next orderly I have taken next is yes. next is S4 S4 is black it is connected to next pin of the Arduino serially I am connecting continuously S5 is connected to next pin of the Arduino and the middle one NEI this is connected to last S7 pin of the Arduino you know. and this is USB cable so this is connected to your USB port of laptop and now all the IR sensor uh, LEDs are turned on now when I uh, place an object uh, near the sensor the light will turn off this is IR sensor 5 see the light is turned off again on the IR sensor 4 off on next this side this is IR sensor 1 1 is on off now IR sensor 2 2 is off this is middle one is IR sensor 3 3 is off this one is 3 this one is 3 this one is 2 this one is 1 so in this way uh, how it is detecting because on the board on this side on the front side you have IR sensor IR LED and uh, 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 IR LED and IR photodiode so these two will help us to determine the object in this way uh, in, uh, in the left side, right side and the, in the center on the front so it will detect the object. In the serial monitor also you can check the output. Here it is showing the sensor uh, sensor 1 value is 0, sensor 2 value is 0, sensor 3, 4, 5, 0. Now when I place my finger on the first uh, sensor so it is showing object detected by sensor 4 sorry I kept my hand on sensor 4 now I will keep my sensor on I have given some time delay now it is, I kept my hand on sensor 3 so it is giving the object as object detected by sensor 3 now I will place my finger near IR1 I had to help place. So now it is giving object detected by sensor 1. Now I will place my finger near sensor 2. So object detected by sensor 2. In this way in serial monitor also you can check the result. If I don't keep my finger anywhere it is giving the value 0.